Okay, put the potatoes in the water, keep them from browning. And then we'll just cut mm -hmm. them from there. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got a big enough bowl. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's very good. That's going to be enough, right? Oh, that, that's going to that's gonna be a lot of french fries. Lots and lots. But okay. we're going to double fry them, right? Yes. Yay! Exciting! So, stay tuned. So our oil is heating. And we're going to do a double fry. So we're going at 325 for the first one. We're drying right here. We got some extra potatoes left over, and so we can see what we, how we like them, how crunchy we like them. Oil is almost at temp, so we are going to get started here in just a moment. So we've temped our oil, and we are at 325. So I'm going to, some dogs are over there playing. I'm gonna go ahead and put our fries in the basket. And we're gonna do, what was it, about, about three minutes the first time? Something like that. Just kind of watch them, see what you have. But remember, make sure they're dry, because what happens when you mix grease and water? It's, it's not, not pretty. Fun. <laughs> oh, one's on the floor. Fry down. Fry down. Fry down. Nope. 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 I think that's plenty in the baskets to start. We want to keep them from stick into each other. Okay, here goes. First time using this fryer. And it shouldn't be overly bubbly. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's pretty. First time with our deep fryer. New deep fryer. We've been using cast iron forever, but we decided, yeah, see, it did cool down just a bit, so it turned, it's reheating again. Mm -hmm. So we're still trying to figure out this deep fryer. So, timer. Timer. Let's start with three minutes and go from there and see. See what it does for three minutes. Okay. Okay, it's been three minutes. And they're actually looking pretty good. But, but we need to let them cool and then we'll put them in for the second fry and let the oil reheat itself because they were cold going in so it cools the oil off. So we'll give it about five minutes, let them drip dry, let the oil heat back up, and then we'll put them in for the second fry. Not done yet. Okay, time for the second fry. We're back to 325. And we're gonna do another, start with three minutes. We just wanna get them golden brown, so we'll give it Three minutes and we'll check it and see from there where we want to go with it. While we're waiting now, I was making some sauce for it. Japanese mayonnaise, ketchup, and some dill relish. Still contemplating adding more, but we'll go from here. Nice. It's been three minutes, and I kind of like what they look like. What do you think? Looks great. So we're gonna let them just sit here drip for just a second. I'll grab a pan and the salt. I'm gonna do some kosher salt to top it off. While they're hot. Now, dumping it out of two sides. Interesting. Did it. Chunky culture salt. Mm -hmm. Smells good. It's great. Need to let them cool for a second though, I think. Let's start the next batch. Well, let's check. We'll try these first before we know, so we know if we need more time or not. We can set them up there. None of them stuck together, so I'm happy about that. So we'll leave that like that. 
Take time to try. I'll go a little longer. Oh. For crispy work. For crispy work. Higher temp. Ah. Higher temp. Let's turn it up to 350. No, 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 no. Do that at the lower temp and then turn it to a higher temp like he did. Still good. Hot. Really hot. All right, so this next batch we're going in same temp. And then for the second fry, we're going to go up to 375 for the final. I'll do three minutes again. Mm -hmm. I think we'll get it just right. Tell you what, they are delicious otherwise. Oh yeah. So we use gold potatoes for this batch. Mm -hmm. What a treat. <clears throat> yeah. Dang. Okay, so this batch we did at 325 for three minutes. Let them sit for a minute and heat up the oil to 375. And then we put it in for another three minutes. And these are going to be a lot crispier. I also pre-salted the pan a little bit that they were throwing them on because there wasn't a lot of salt in, on all the fries. So, oh, look, yeah, look, listen to them. They're a lot crispier this time. So I say go with the, the uh, hot oil. And salt them before they cool off. Yes. And when it, while they're a little bit, a little bit oily. And we're using just regular kosher salt. But they smell good. Mm -hmm. And they look okay. pretty. Mm -hmm. but nice first time for us. Yeah. 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 Great experiment, but it is a little hot. I'm going to give it a minute before I try one. Protected with a one-year warranty. Okay. Let's try one. Up we come. Put the extra oil drip. Turn on. It's a little bit crispier. They're a little darker. I think it depends on what size you're eating. For how? Uh -huh. Do we need to cut them thinner? Maybe just now a little bit thinner. With some of this herb. Or sauce. the first time we do it at 350 and instead of 325. It's hot. It's very hot. 350 it's and then 375. Ah. Because I don't want them the much the darker. It could be requisite three pieces yeah. of raw tomato. But data. they're great. Okay. Who's yeah. ever in the back? Let me help you. One. Two, three. One, two, one, two, three. That's how it's supposed to be. Mm. And then we get some lettuce, a couple pieces of I think, lettuce. I think the only way to get them crispier is to do them the first time a little higher. higher, and then second time. That's what we did right. just now. That'll be the next batch. Okay, there you go. All right. Homemade french fries. <laughs> Not a bad experiment. <laughs>